Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me in another of my interview series. Today I'm going to be talking to Dr Tess Laurie. Now you may remember I spoke to her very recently, uh, about a month or so ago, from the World Council for Health and we spoke about a whole other interesting things. There's a conference coming in Bath and I have been very uh, lucky to be invited to host a panel. So I've asked um, Tess if she'll come back and tell us a little bit about the Better Way Conference, what it's about, what I'm going to be involved with, and all those good stuff. And uh, so Tess, welcome back to the show. It's lovely to have you back. Thank you very much for having me back. And I'm, I'm so impressed that you asked me to, uh, to be involved in what you're doing. It's so important work. Um, before we go into that, I have you've given me the the sort of trailer for what it is. So shall we shall we just have a look at that first of all? Here we go. Better way for a better world. How about that? That's uh, that's fascinating and very exciting because that's what we want: a better way for health, for freedom, and sovereignty. So, uh, tell us all about it, uh, Tess. Yes. Well, I just wanted to say I've been on a similar journey to you actually over the last few years, just realizing nothing's as it seems and discovering you know one uh, well one thing being revealed after another so this conference is called unveiling a better way for health freedom and sovereignty because that's the journey we're on really yes. and last year the conference was um was very much our inaugural world conference and we the output of it was the seven principles of the better way charter which i shared with you last time i was on that's right and so this this time we're we're really unveiling the better way forward based on those principles and it's a really solutions focused conference i think you can see from those visuals in the in the the little promo that w which was from last year that um, you know everyone feels very empowered and motivated and, and it's really uh, so uplifting to be amongst so many um, uh, inspiring people and having the conversations because we've really missed that connection so you know we really encourage people to come in person if they can to 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 you know in, in, indulge in that in that person to person communication and uh, sharing of ideas but um, if you can't, you can you can join online because it's live streamed, right. and uh, and and how it's set up, it's not the usual style conference where there's sort of one person speaking after the other and they all repeat the same things and so on. Uh, it's divided into eight panels, so it's, it's sort of panel conversations, and we've got these amazing experts and speakers coming from all over the world, several um, UK speakers as well, um, and I, I'm excited to share with you who will be on your panel. Um, but, well, I'm, um, I'm very excited yes. to, to learn about this because you very kindly asked me to be on it. And we'd only had a, a brief conversation and you, and you said that. And about the conference in general, I mean, by golly, we are so bombarded at the moment with so much negative stuff and so many challenges that are coming on to be able to go somewhere and meet like minded people and to take take positivity away from that and and spread it to friends and family and all of that is it, i mean it's a it's going to be a pilgrimage isn't it yes well, and, and in actual fact bath is a healing city you know it's ancient an ancient healing city city where people came for healing and so it really seems fitting to have this annual pilgrimage here and have these conversations and i must just say the speakers are really tasked with providing solutions they're not allowed to come and just moan you know mm, mm. so um so it really is uh, is is a really wonderful time and i and i urge people to to come uh, or to or to watch online um, I have, uh, I, I could go to the website and just sort of run through the conference website to, to highlight the conversations that would be had, if that would be of interest. Of course. Yeah, no, let's, let's find out. And you can do that by sharing your screen, I believe. Yes, yes. 
Um, there we go. So, um, oh, you can see that Neil Oliver is going to be our master of ceremonies. It's a very grueling job. You can imagine three oh, days yeah. of of uh, emceeing, but uh, he says he's I, up for it and he promises to smile. I can't think of anyone better, can you? I mean, he's, no. such a, he's such a star. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Yes. So so I just wanted to say, if you wanted to, to see more about last year's conference, you can go to um, BWC 2022 and there's a movie, an after movie. And it's really uh, it's really a lot of fun. It's about 50 minutes and you can get the sense of the ethos and spirit of the conference. And then um, on Better Way Conference 2023, if you scroll down, um, you'll see some of the speakers have been um, have have been highlighted here with a little bit about them. I'm sure you'll recognise many a bo- of them. There's a strange-looking bald bloke there. <laughs> who, the, <laughs> who the hell is he? <laughs> uh, He's an interloper, uh, isn't he? <laughs> well, we're very fortunate to have you. And as I say, you've been on on this uh, incredible uh, journey, learning curve, and and you you bring so much. Um, to the conference and uh, the panel that you're going to be hosting, I'm going to tell you in a minute because I know I've kept you in suspense about that. No, that's okay. Um, But just to say um, that we are adding, we are adding the speaker profiles to the website uh, in tranches. So um, we've got, uh, as you can see, we've got Matthias Desmond speaking and in actual fact, he is on your panel. So, Oh, right. So let me go um, to the actual details. We have a, a special gala fundraising dinner on Thursday, the the, the first of June. Um, that is a separate fee, and it's it really is our fundraiser. We have the the most amazing um, honor of having Vera Sharaf join us as our guest of honor and speak at that gala fundraising dinner. So that's the first time really that I'm I'm revealing that, and uh, there'll be more in the press about it. Um, Friday, the 2nd of June, we have a panel uh, discussing from big pharma to real health. So all the panels are from something that's perhaps a little bit dystopian to uh, what it what it is in the better way. So mm. we have speakers speaking about what real health really means. And um, and that's the first opening panel. Then we have a conversation from fake foods to food as medicine. Wow. And, yeah. These are uh, these are powerful um uh, uh, t- t- topics, aren't they? Yes, yes. In actual fact, we have two and a half hours to cover. So each of these panels are two and a half hours, and the speakers get an initial sort of ten minutes or so to share their their perspective, and then they join the panel, and it's a very interactive um, and engaging conversation. So it's really unusual to see many people that one only sees in interviews and so on Mm. actually engaging in real time with others who've been in the field as well and speaking about the same things so in issues so uh i can't stress enough just how um you know how unusual this conference is yes each each panel is kind of a bit like a show you know yeah Uh, wow so then um on Saturday, the 3rd of June, we have a a climate change uh, panel from climate change to nurturing nature we have um, from electrosmog to nature's frequencies. If you don't know what electrosmog is, it's radio frequency radiation, electro, um, uh, electromagnetic frequency, and and obviously that includes 5G, which is very topical at the moment. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then in the in the evening we have from from transhumanism to being human. So all the discussions around AI and transhumanism and 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 how we uh, ensure that we. Um, we we remain human in in all of this. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then um, and then on Sunday. Now this is the panel that you are on uh, hosting. Mm. Uh, it's from thought control to free thought. Now I think everybody people may know if they've been listening to you that government government actually kind of means thought control or mind control. Yes. Uh, and so uh, this panel is really focused on uh, on government and, and restoring, how do we restore democracy? Democracy, after all, means people rule. Yes. Uh, and that's not what we, we see happening now. If you just think about Andrew Bridgen in Parliament last uh, Friday, where nobody even bothered to turn up. And those that um, were were sort of turfed out, weren't they? They were told yes. to leave. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. Yes, absolutely. Um, so before I tell you a little bit more about your panel, uh, mm. the one uh, afternoon talk is about from one health to our health, and that 
to, will be really thinking about this uh, centralization uh, uh, of of health and, and monopoly mm. that uh, is going on with the World Health Organization. Gosh. And then in the evening, uh, we discuss from scarcity to abundance, you know, how we, we go from this mentality where everything's scarce and, and rare and and uh, and uh, every, from fear into into a, a, a mindset where things are abundant and uh, and um, and yeah. and plentiful, and and we we sort of get back to love. So, um, would you like me to tell you about your panel? <laughs> yes, please. A little about <laughs> who's on there. Yes. Well, um, very very nice. You have. Um, Andrew Bridgen. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, oh, really? Andrew Bridgen is coming. Oh, Will fantastic. Keat? Is it? Is it Keat or Kite? Keat. He was on yes, your... Yes, Keat. Yes. He's on, oh, he was, I first uh, saw him on your on your um, podcast, and we, we're we so fortunate to have him come and speak. Um, we have James Corbett, uh, who's, uh, who's absolutely uh, all round on all things uh, uh, along the better way. Uh, having really been talking about all the things that have been uh, happening under our noses for such a long time. Um, Matthias Desmet, uh, as I mentioned, and Mark Devlin, who's a British, um, he's actually a DJ who's written three books. Uh, if you don't know him, you definitely should interview him because uh, he's been talking about how we've been manipulated through music and pop music and so ah, on. Ah, yes, I have. Heard, I've heard time. of him and I've heard, so yes. So let me, let me, um, I wanted to, oh, I just wanted to say the, for the ticket packages, um, we have the gala dinner, the, the full conference pass, which is three days. As I say, it's like eight separate shows in a way. So you need to really, um, you, you need to be very robust to be able to, to manage the, the the full three day pass, but you are uh, really welcome if if you would just like to spend a day with us. It's absolutely guaranteed to be um, entertaining, uh, whichever day you choose. And if you can't make it in person, there's a, a virtual online pass, and it's on special until the seventh of April at thirty pounds. We really encourage you to just invite all your friends and family for the weekend. Um, and and uh, and it's like a festival, you know, where everyone comes over, have a nice barbecue, watch something, and uh, and uh, choose a panel, discuss it. It's really wonderful conversation starters, and um, and so thirty pounds. If you have ten friends over, that's three pounds a head, um, and then you just click on there, and it takes you to tickets. So um, I'll stop sharing, and uh, thanks very much for the opportunity to to share this with your viewers, Richard. I will put the link in the description so that people can see it because unfortunately on my the way I record this it was it was um, slightly curtailing most of the screen so you couldn't see all of that and it's definitely worth going. I'm really excited now that you've told me that I'm really excited there's going to be some amazing people there and I think that's what people really need to do isn't it we need to meet people who have, are, are full of confidence about the future a positive and got positive messages i get so many emails from people who are either just very frightened and sharing what's going on which doesn't help my mental health i can tell you because yes. you're like bombarded with it all um and and people just need to know that there, there are solutions and also that there are people thinking of this and working on it that it that it's not because sometimes i you know i wake up in the morning and i think golly i better do a video and you just think, well, it's all on my shoulders. If I don't make a video, the world's going to collapse. And of course, that's not true at all. But you do get a bit into that weird mindset, don't you? That it's that it's if you don't do something, and, and what can you do? There are many, many people doing things. And it really is up to everybody. Nothing we do, uh, be it the internal work to, you know, get rid of the fear and just step into, you know, one's own power, um, nothing is wasted. Everything we do, every small thing is contributing. And that, this is how we, you know, how we move forward in a better way is, is really doing the, making sure that each and every one of us is doing something. But if I can just reassure everybody, there are so many people doing amazing things in, in farming and in community and in, in healthcare that um, whatever you can bring, please do uh, and, and get, get going with it.
Yeah. Well, I will be mentioning the Better Way conference conference um, much more frequently and reminding people to come along and get on board because it's. I think people need to know <laughs> that there is a future and that it isn't dystopian and we don't have to have cameras looking at us and and buy into all this or just roll over and let it happen. That we we are able um, quite easily to push back. Well, we just have to say, no, thank you. We yeah. see this as an opportunity to set ourselves free and we are going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, abs you know? absolutely. Yeah. Th that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Tess, thank you so much for telling us about that. I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, to meet all those wonderful people will be will be wonderful. And for me, I should probably be a bit nervous sitting there with the likes of Andrew Bridgen and Will Keats. Mm -hmm. I, 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 he, he's all right, because <laughs> I've had him on the show. I get on all, well, well with him. But you know, it's going to be fantastic, isn't it? It's going to be a, a great vibe. I think it and is. It, and, you, and I'm sure you're going to bring a great vibe. So I can't wait to meet you in person. Uh, yeah, no, me too. It, it's going to be wonderful. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure to check out the, uh, the website. Buy your tickets. Come along. It's very important. Tell your friends. If you can't make it, recommend it to somebody else. Um, we've, we've all working together. This is where you can actually say we're in it together, not when the government says it and, and it seems that they've got their own version of working together. This is where we really do all pull together and we can say thanks ever so much for all your rubbish, but no thanks. We're going to remain free, sovereign and healthy, which is the message of the conference. Tess, thank you so much. Um, we're maybe nearer the time we can come back and, and, and talk about some of the things in a little bit more detail, the sort of things that are likely to come up and, and all of that, because I'm sure we're yes. going to be facing some more um, rather nefarious things and frightening yes. things. Absolutely. And there is space in the conference. We're obviously anticipating that things might change by then and things are changing at such a rapid rate. So there are spaces for workshops. We haven't announced the workshops yet. We certainly are intending to have a workshop on, on uh, vaccine injury and side effects um, that would be ideally live streamed for free to everybody. So that would be uh, at, a, at um, the, probably the Saturday lunch hour. But we are really planning uh, to, we, we need to remain flexible to, to add in uh, whatever it is we're facing by the time yes. June comes. Yeah, because it, it's only a couple of months away, but anything can happen, yes. as we have seen. Mm. Uh, uh, brilliant. Thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us about this. And uh, if people can just share this video uh, so that other people know about the conference. If, you, you know, if you've got friends and family and you've seen this video and you think, actually, I know somebody who would love to come, do share this video and, and send them to the website uh, because it's, uh, it's really important. Thank you, uh, Tess. It's lovely Thank to you, see Richard. you. And we will see each other very soon. But in yes. the, um, to the audience, thank you for watching. And I will be back again, of course, with another interview on another subject. Until then, from Tess and I, goodbye.